In this movie, we'll look at a technique for returning the size of imported PDF files to their original scale. So, let's imagine that we've been supplied with a floor plan that looks like this, and we can import that floor plan into StyleDraw Design 7, import PDF as new project, choose the file, click on open. This creates a new project with a drawing tab for each page in the imported PDF. So we've now got the imported drawing and what I might want to do is add some symbols for AV products, for example a loudspeaker. Now having inserted that symbol we can see that the scale is completely wrong. The symbol is much too large for the floor plan or in actual fact the floor plan is much too small for the symbol size. Now why does this happen? Well, if we take a look at the original PDF file, look at the properties, and we'll see the root cause of the problem. PDF is effectively a print output, and as such, the size of the drawing is determined by the page size that it's printed to, and this particular drawing has been output to an 11 by 17 page. That means the whole drawing is scaled down to fit that page, and what we get when we import into StyleDraw Design 7.2 is the scaled down version of the drawing. So, how can we fix this? In this particular drawing, we're helped in that there are some dimensions on the drawing which indicate the actual size of the objects in the drawing. So, what I'm going to do is draw a dimension onto this drawing. We'll use the orthogonal lock to lock the dimension to horizontal or vertical directions. We'll use snap to path to lock it to another object in the drawing. And I'm also just going to change my document settings to show inches because the dimensions here are in feet and inches. So now let's draw this dimension and again we can see that the dimension is actually very large and the real width of that dimension is 0.7087 of an inch and remember the dimension that we're looking for is 23 feet and 7 inches. So let's work out a scaling factor so that we can return the drawing to its original size. I'm going to bring up the Windows calculator and the calculation is the dimension that we want divided by the dimension that we've got. So the dimension that we want is 23 feet. Let's convert that into inches, 276 inches. Let's add the other 7 inches, so that's 283. That's the inch equivalent of 23 feet and 7 inches. We divide that by 0 0.7087. That returns a scaling factor. We need to convert this to a percentage, so just multiply by 100. So the percentage scaling factor to apply will be 39,932%. Great, let's go back to StyleDraw Design 7. Let's choose the drawing and choose Arrange Scale 39,932. So we put 39,932, maintain the aspect ratio, so we only have to enter that number once and click on OK. Now as we zoom out, we'll see that the drawing has indeed been scaled. So I'm going to delete the original dimension, zoom back to our original point, draw in another dimension, but before I do that, I'm going to change my document settings to show feet and inches to the nearest inch, put in the dimension, and what do you know? That measurement is now exactly 23 feet and 7 inches. So having performed that single adjustment to the drawing, I can now pull in a loudspeaker symbol, drop it in here, and as you can see, these symbols are now appropriately sized for this new one-to-one -one 
scale drawing. Now with this particular drawing we did have some assistance because there were some dimension objects in the original drawing. Very often you'll get PDF files that have no dimensions on them. So the trick there is to take a measurement against something whose size you can reliably predict. A doorway, for example, is usually in the region of about three feet wide. So by taking a dimension there, you can use three feet, 36 inches, and use that as the desired size when you're calculating your scaling factor. So with these tools, it should be easy for you to return your imported PDF files to their original one-to-one -one scale. Thank you for watching.